Transparency International Zimbabwe is a non-profit, non-partisan, systems-oriented local chapter of the international movement against corruption. Its broad mandate is to fight corruption and related vices through networks of integrity in line with the global strategy. Transparency International Zimbabwe is an international organization where a chapter of the global movement Transparency International. Our mandate in all the countries that we operate in is to deal with issues of, of corruption, expose uh, corruption that happens in both the public and the private sector. It has been a good year, especially in terms of capacity, building of the institution and institutional strengthening. The organization feels more determined than ever to continue in the fight against corruption and that there's been enough investment in the capacity. TIZ believes corruption can only be sufficiently tackled by all citizens, including people at grassroots level. To achieve this, TIZ devised the following program units. The Research and Information Unit aims to advance knowledge in the area of corruption, anti-corruption and governance in Zimbabwe that assists in governance planning, social and economic development and investment planning for private and public sector projects, local and international organizations. The mandate of the unit is to provide professionally generated researchers that become the basis for knowledge and information management on corruption related issues. Research, of course, also does a lot of other institutional capacity building work, such as um, being the custodian of our monitoring and evaluation processes. They have been instrumental as a unit in ensuring that we collect all the data we need to measure our progress. We feel 2013 was a good year for us in terms of um, uh, the, the implementation of, of, of programs. A lot of programs were implemented. We came up with a lot of, of reports, the normal reports that we do, the corruption per perception indexes, and the, and the many other indexes that we do uh, to measure corruption. But um, one of our reports uh, entailed uh, the uh, uh, corruption that happens in the mining or, or what you call the extractive uh, uh, sector and uh, we, we highlighted some of the of the corruption that, that uh, w was encountered in, in that sector especially in the diamonds mining uh, activities in Marange and in Chiazo. Okay. The information desk has done a good job in establishing our social media Facebook and Twitter pages. What we are hoping to strengthen in 2014 is the volume of activity in those two um, uh, platforms to increase the traffic as well as the popularity and visibility of the institution through those platforms. Advocacy and Legal Advice Center, ALAC. <laughs> The unit seeks to increase opportunities for redress where possible and prevention of further affliction in society caused by corruption. In order to address the countrywide complaints, the unit revitalized its Bulawayo office and opened a regional office in Mutare. The ALAC unit also offers free legal advice to both victims and witnesses of corruption. It's been a, a, a success story for Transparency International Zimbabwe. It is during this period that we opened two of our, our chapter offices in Mutare and in Bulawayo. And what that means in essence is that we now have a, a reach across Zimbabwe in terms of programming activities. Our programs are now happening uh, across the country and uh, it's easy to control the activities through the, the offices that we, we, we created. You look me short, short, you think I'm a children. Huh? 
The Community Mobilization and Advocacy Unit under TIZ is the People Engagement Unit whose overall objective is to ensure maximum participation and involvement of citizens in the fight against corruption by organizing communities and providing them the requisite support for impact. These efforts are really intended to help people or to facilitate and ensure people drive the fight against corruption and have the necessary knowledge and tools to do so. And we are happy to say that the public has been very receptive to our programming and are very eager to participate at many levels. Legal advice. Yakanu Puavan, Pakasian, Ku Transparency International. E, Jaka Pava nu courage. Yeku wisa corruption at uh, any level within the community of Chitungis. So the people are very good to request for more programs. Because one one feeling a good from St. Mary's to Unit O. Every citizen in Chitungis is very good to know corruption. You know, like corruption, you know, you know, there are so many ways to go right corruption. And I am a pyramid scheme. Isusu Masanganira to know it. I'm a shandre do say Boka, you know, Batsira, Vanu, Vaningari, my victim, can I'm a witness, a corruption, can I go to war, Pachishona, a to know Sangana, so she chinga shaipa, my chisamp. A she chinga shaipa, Vanu, Dopa, no Zoya, whom I quit, I do, co advocates and legal advice center. Vakuchaga kuti vanga wana se imari zia zava ningeva isa. Tanga dango pa yuri ambiro kune rujinji. Kunya nyanya nyazo kuverenga ma documents nga tiverenga ijin sata zisaina. Tine ma clients mwa ruku ya ruku titiri mu banki cha imota kamira mukiu. Tiri ku sign swa ma paper. Never knew what singer Zivi told Zona next month salary the Zautango Batwa Zimmy married that singer we see. Kufunza bank one that is Zivi, but punishments are called my standing order to Tori Maria Cat Macount Main. You look at a far up as well and ask the goody. When young people don't know about a good war in Dan, who's the old name of the Pagat, who turns parrot. To look Shandan or Zakanaka. To tend as you could die as Rambas Agadar. To my number who were white who show ma. It's a new initiative, you know, and get a training on its own. It went a long way. We were able to monitor, we were able to detect. And uh, so many people are coming out to, to, to report such cases. And before, uh, there wasn't any place where people would report. And also, you should remember that. Uh, uh, some of the residents in Mwange were afraid to go to the police because they suspected that they are also uh, corrupt. But now that we are having a, an independent organization like you know, the Transparency International, there is uh, confidence in terms of uh, reporting such cases. Policy Legislation and Institutional Monitoring Unit the unit's overall objective is to assist in the change management processes, starting with contributing to the new strategic plan of the Judicial Services Commission, by so doing indirectly influencing judicial services and their capacity to handle corruption cases and litigants in the manner that promotes the overall fight against corruption in Zimbabwe. So of our activities centered around uh, issues of exposing corruption and um, one of the things that you you do when you you expose corruption is to to, to, to ensure that uh, the the responsible authority especially the the prosecuting authority uh, are aware of of, of 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 such happenings so the basically the the main uh, groups that we worked with uh, included the media in terms of uh, exposing some of the corruption, the police is a, the, the part of the prosecuting authority. We also had uh, partnerships 
with the, the, the Zimbabwe Anti-Corruption Commission in terms of understanding what they do. But um, most of our work was uh, to liaise and work with the, the police, who we feel are, are the most important agency in terms of investigating all these corruption activities. Uh, working together with the TIZ, we had very successful uh, what, uh, I would say interventions in uh, trying to mitigate the problems that uh, ordinary Zimbabweans especially uh, experience in their dealings with uh, uh, officials in the justice delivery sector, at uh, the courts, at uh, the police, at uh, the deeds office, at the prisons. And I remember that uh, with the assistance of TIZ, we actually had uh, a very successful workshop where we came up with mechanisms to have a five-year plan, so to speak, a plan from 2013 to 2018, a five-year plan that would then act as a guideline for the Minister of Justice to try to eventually succeed in eliminating the schedule of corruption within the justice delivery sector of Zimbabwe. We did a similar exercise in uh, participating in the harmonized elections of July 31st, 2013. We were working not just with other civil society, mainly under the umbrella of the Zimbabwe Election Support Network, CESNI, but we were also working with um, SAC, the Zimbabwe Election uh, committee commission who uh, we applied for uh, the right to participate in voter education and despite the delays eventually gave us the go ahead to do some level of public education. We are a membership based organization that promotes good governance by fostering a culture of accountability, transparency and integrity through research-based advocacy, public education or awareness, policy advice and monitoring.